I'm here with Richard Nicholl in his East London studio with his very fabulous Autumn Winter 13 collection. We've got some highlights here that I'm hoping Richard is going to talk through with us. A great collection. One of the things I love about it is the way you're playing with lots of different textures. I sort of approached this collection by looking at sort of fashion codes that are like acceptance. So I took animal prints um, and different textures of the Angora. So it's basically a collection of kind of new classics but with my own kind of personal twist. I guess it's my own sort of take on conservatism in a way. So it's disco conservatism. I love this idea of disco conservatism. And for me, in a way, that really sums up what's great about London fashion at the moment and what's great about your designs, is what you've got here is clothes that grown-up women can wear, leading grown-up lives and having grown-up jobs. But how do you pull off that balancing act as a designer? It must be quite tricky. So I, I suppose I design just what I'm drawn to myself. The collection as a whole has a sense of ease, but also it has a kind of sense of cool, but it's also very easy to wear. Um, and it's, a, it's about creating a character around the way that she would put the clothes together and, and it's about a sort of nonchalance. But then separately, the pieces become very versatile for different people. So you talk about this she. Tell me, who is the Richard Nichol she? She is, <laughs> <laughs> she's, um, I guess she's, you know, she's strong, independent, creative, and probably lacks a sort of masculine spin on, on her dressing. You've been chosen as one of the five designers for London Fashion Week at Fennec. Tell me what the store Fennec means to you. It's such an institution um, for retail in, in London and um, as they're sort of rebranding and they've started to buy younger, um, slightly more edgy designers, it's interesting to see how well things are actually selling through and they're selling to the mother and the daughter and the sister and, you know, a, a kind of wide demographic which is, which you, I guess you don't normally have the footfall from in terms of stores, so it's great. What strikes me standing here as a consumer of fashion rather than an observer is how these clothes could be worn by both generations. Um, is that something that you actively strive to achieve? Yeah, it is really. I, I think I'm quite conscious of that and, and I have a, a lot of friends who are of differing sizes and ages so within each collection I try to sort of pinpoint styles that will suit you know, the various friends. So um, I think within that sort of uh, criteria there's bound to be, it's bound to appeal to a sort of wide range of customer.